Well, welcome back fellow surfers. Um, looking at the Tigra again today. <laughs> so my job today is a fishing rod with, um, with claws and uh, a light, as so. So looking down here, I can see a little bit of debris, which I know if ports get blocked up down here, Oh God, I love an echo. Wee, echo. Excellent. Um, yeah, if these things get blocked up down here, it can cause problems. There's a lot of, there's a lot of gunge in there. So let's get that out. Um, I'm still not finding the leak. Um, I have left it now. It's a couple of days getting on now. Um, with the carpet up like this. Um, I've got the, the horrible black stuff off with some black fungus remover and give it a good clean up it does smell very nice in here now um yeah but i still can't find out where the leak is um a little bit of rust to treat obviously a little bit there um a little bit at the front as well nothing major just want to sort in while i've got the carpet up the only leak i can find is kind of down there where it's coming down this seal and it's gathering in there and pooling over um, I guess it's possible over time this could have filled up because of that um, but I can't find any leak anywhere else um, again a little bit just there a little bit of evidence um, I don't know they do leak through these seals but is that enough I, I don't know like I say it could have been happening for a long time and I only just noticed it because obviously you don't get in the passenger side all that much anyway I'm gonna have another few hours trying to sort this out and letting this carpet dry out as well. I have um, I've got the wet and dry vac in here to suck up as much of the can and like I say I've treated all the black mould so it doesn't stink uh, and it smells really fresh now, <laughs> it smells lovely but um, yeah I, I need to find this leak, I really do. Right let's get on with it. So I've got to say I am quite surprised at the level of stuff that's coming out of here, look create myself a little pile look at that that was all under the servo unit and I know from forums the servo units are where people seem to get the most leaks from this one I don't think is leaking but if there's a port blocked because of all this crap then is that enough we shall find out oh my engineering skills Never cease to amaze myself. <laughs> a cleaning stick. Mm -hmm. A magnet with some cloth. Excellent. So my cleaning cloth is doing a good job. It's getting loads more crud out. Let me get the torch in there and I'll show you what I mean. No, don't flash now. There you go. So yeah, it's getting all sorts of crud out there, but it's cleaning the job up nicely. Yeah. Um, there was a load that came out the back of the servo unit as well and some more up here so yeah it works oh, that's looking pretty clean in there now I'm impressed by that all right gonna double check that I've not got any leaks inside because I'll give this a real good soaking and a real good spraying and uh, yeah but that is looking clean and the drain plug's definitely working yeah you can't really see it but it's in there so you'll have to take my word for it um right let's have a quick look inside Do -do -do -do. inside the tigra yeah 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 um as you can see nothing nothing coming down let me get you right up there oops um there doesn't seem to be anything coming in i haven't got any wet patches um i've got this panel off here to have a good look inside and uh, yeah no water coming in there so I don't know was it that was it that area I mean that drain plug was bunged up and it needed cleaning no doubt about that um, but I mean the water water does travel so could it be coming in from that servo unit and traveling up there somewhere who knows 
Right, let's go check the other side, see if there's any water, obviously that side. Do, 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 around the scaffold, yes, yeah, yeah. so we've got scaffold right in the way. God dear, but the roof's fixed. Hey! Um, uh, and again, as you can see, hopefully you can see. Um, yeah. Can't see anything coming in, nothing in there. Nothing there. Nothing there. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, it's clean now, so always look at your drains. <laughs> mm, not sure what that statement proves, but anyway, always look at your drains. Right, I think the next thing is I'm going to have this battery out, have the battery plate out. Um, I know this is good because I've sealed it, but it doesn't mean that the bracket behind isn't leaking somewhere. Um, I'm just going to try everything and anything at the moment. Um, because, like I say, I don't know where it's coming from. It's nothing obvious at the moment. So, right, battery out. Now, when you take the battery out of these, what you've got to do is turn the ignition on first. Turn the ignition on to at least assess accessory, easy for me to say. Um, and then when you take the battery off, it won't sound the, uh, the alarm. That's the theory anyway. Let's give it a try. So, stick the ignition on. I've loosened the battery terminals off already. Positive off. Badum. Took it out of the way. I tend to have a tendency of wanting to flop back where they came from. And negative off. There you go. So all it is now is a 13mm down there. And we'll let the battery out. Oh, there you go. So the 13mm is slackened off. Just move it out a bit. Yeah, easier said than done. <laughs> it should slide but I think I need two hands yeah anyway that bolt and then that slides back and then the battery comes out believe me it does so as I was saying <laughs> that simply slides back like that there you go and then the battery we uh, have got a handle we have got a handle look at that up and out yeah and down perfect Yeah, that one's going to be fun to get out. Uh-oh. Right, I'll be honest. I've had a go at getting that bolt off, and it ain't going to move. But to be honest, there's nothing under there anyway. I mean, I know the port's clear, because the port is just down there, and the water's coming out just fine. So I don't think there's anything that's a problem just there. And I'm not going to try and get that out and break even more. But... Um, I've sealed the body control module up, so I know it's not that. So, I don't know, I'm drawing blanks at the moment. I'm going to give it another bit of a wash out and just make sure, and um, give it another flush, check the bolts, make sure everything's tight, and just do the general things, really. But at the moment, I'm struggling to find this leak. Now, you would think that would promote a leak, wouldn't you? <laughs> But, can you see a leak? Nope, neither can I. It's watertight. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think it's time to go down the shop, get a bottle of whiskey, and forget about all this. <laughs> go to the Winchester, have a nice cold pint, and wait for all this to blow over. Nope, still no leak. Let's go around the other side. On the scaffold, on the puddles. Leaks, can we find leaks? 
Have we got leaks? Is there any leaks? Leaks, leaks, leaks. Come out and play. Nah, no, there's not. Oh. Why did I buy a Tigra? Just remind me again. <laughs> They're great cars, really. Right, well, I'm starting to lose light, and uh, oh, <laughs> well, what's happening up there? Yeah, if you don't know about chemtrails, look into them. Anyway, I digress. Um, so yeah, chuck the battery back in again. Um, I can't find a leak anywhere. Maybe it was all that gunge and uh, all those leaves and debris that was uh, that was down in the servo here, but. I've absolutely saturated this area and I cannot find a leak anywhere. Now there was that obviously um, seepage, I'm not going to call it a leak, but seepage around this area. Um, it could be that, I guess, I suppose over time it's going to build up and this time of year being damp and wet, it's not really going to dry out. So it could have been that, who knows. I, but I'm, I'm really struggling now. Um, I'm going to try pouring some more water over the roof tonight um, see if that brings anything to mind or anything comes to the forefront and anything it looks like a leak uh, but I think for now I'm just gonna have to dry it out and keep an eye on it I cannot find a leak anywhere it's it's crazy I know everybody's screaming at the, uh, the YouTube comments that uh, these leak like a sieve anyway and yeah they can do um, but there's usually a reason behind it and it's usually the servo seals or something under the bulkhead um, in this case I don't think it is I'm stumped anyway thanks for watching catch you again soon bye bye